what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here since i'm about scream 6 again in this video uh feels weird saying that honestly because i'm used to saying scream 5 but but jumping into the video we need to talk about how you can bring dewey riley back in regards to we know in scream 5 for those of you who have seen the movie those of you who haven't spoiler alert dewey riley drops dead do drop actually drops <laughs> he will not be returning as far as like being alive in any capacity uh and i hope they stick to it i don't want them to try to you know go back on what they did just to satisfy anyone who was upset about it because they don't understand the context of why he had to die and understanding that his death wasn't meaningless maybe his death could have been done slightly better sure i will i i can see where you're coming from there but his death overall wasn't stupid it wasn't useless it wasn't it wasn't um uh, meaningless it did not do anything that was a detraction from the overall narrative i think if anything it added a lot of like amber said it added a lot more stakes and it took risks that you haven't had taken with the screen movie since i would say screen 2 in my honest opinion so david arquette though could still return as dewey riley and david arquette from what i would understand would love to be back as far as what nev has stated about all of them wanting to be back is what i took away when she was saying that but i think mostly she was talking about her and courtney just my honest opinion but as far as like bringing him back we know at the end of screen five gail had some words about wanting to write a book about the about a man who used to be a sheriff of this town and sydney says she would love to read that so let's say that scream six takes place a year or two after screen five mindy chad tara sophomores in college maybe freshmen who knows because maybe they you don't have to jump right into college after, after high school they could be freshmen two years after the events of scream five uh college isn't a requirement so so like for any any of any of that stuff they could be sophomores freshmen doesn't really matter but they're in college in between that time gail has written a book dewey is on the cover of said book we see her talk about the book in this opening i'm imagining also with her on her morning show we could see her kind of reminisce about her time with dewey in new york and while she's talking about it this would be one, one of the more happy moments while she's talking about it we see it play out in her head and we get to see david arquette return as dewey riley and it's not just some it's it's a flashback but we're seeing it happen while she's speaking live on her show so like we kind of get to see dewey play out we get to see this fantasy of their life how, as it was when they initially got to new york before it fizzled out we get to see glimpses of that while she's on new york while she's on the air in new york on her show talking about her new book about dewey riley the man who used to be the sheriff of woodsboro and who used to be her husband and how he was such a great man etc and how she was so thankful to have spent the amount of time that she did with him when they were married and how she was always thankful for his support and that she will always love him and she will always miss him and she'll always do her best to keep his name and memory of him alive because he was a great man and that'll be a very little emotional opening before we get into what i still would love to see which would be sam and tara's mother get attacked on set of her show gail's show after the studio's been shut down but she goes back in because she forgot something but i think that would be a nice way to get dewey riley back into the mix of screen bringing him into scream six gail could just have some moments where she in between when she's on on the set of the new killings you know she could just think about dewey think about doing their time in new york we see another glimpse of their time in new york it doesn't have to be an excessive thing just to have dewey in the film honestly probably keep it at one or two moments at best so that way it doesn't feel like okay you know you're showing too much dewey if you are going to show this much dewey maybe you should have kept him alive like you know but it's, it's going to be good enough just seeing his face on the book cover but i wouldn't mind seeing some flashbacks at least one or two that's just her reflecting on the more positive moments when they actually made it to new york and they were just living their best life dewey was getting along just fine for those two whole months because i think that's what she said it was for two whole months and then everything started to fizzle out we could just see that a bit in a flashback while she's speaking live on her air live on the air for show promoting her new book before she brings in sam and tara's mother to talk about her relationship to billy etc then ghostface calls we go from there scream six plays out how it goes and you know you still get to hear about this book and you see david arquette's face on the on the cover of the book and that's how you'll have dewey factored into scream six if gail actually gets to write that book which i think would be a great a great thing to have in scream six very sentimental as well and paying respect to the character of dewey in a nice fitting way
So the other thing we need to talk about is someone who could play Tara's dad, because uh, I haven't talked about that yet. But a lot of people think, and shout out to UK for bringing this to my attention. A lot of people now are thinking it's going to be this man, Freddie Prince Jr., who if you're familiar with him, you know, I know what you did last summer, Sarah Michelle Gellar's husband. So he, he tweeted out back in January, I wanted to make another horror movie ever since I know what you did last summer wrapped never found the right one but i think this year it's gonna happen so he he was in i still know what you did last summer and he's saying he's wanted to make another horror movie so i think what he means is he wants to go outside of that of course obviously but the interesting thing about that is he said he thinks it's gonna happen this year and then of course we find out scream six is shooting this summer doesn't mean he's in it but the chances are there is a chance that Freddie Prince Jr. is involved with Scream 6. Just throwing it out there because that is a possibility. I see a lot of people getting behind and wanting to see play play out in Scream 6. He could be Tara's dad. He could end up being Tara's dad. Uh, I was thinking about someone else being Tara's dad. But then I realized, you know what? It could actually be someone else like a Freddie Prince Jr. And it could be anyone. It could be Freddie Prince Jr. or some other actor. I was thinking about someone else who had a different... Uh, background but freddie prince jr being tara's dad i would love to see that or him just being in the movie at all in general that would be a great thing to see what his role would be honestly i don't know if it's not tara's dad the best the best guess i have is just some random guy who works on campus if it, if we go back to college but having him be tara's dad i think would be a un, a very good thing because i think freddie prince jr is a talented actor of uh, him being in the ghost face reveal would be nice because again in my head i'm seeing tara's dad as the killer in scream six along with uh three other people and i just think that would be a nice way to bring him into the fold of scream and also i think at this stage that would give us three out of the four scooby-doo cast members in the live action scooby-doo that have now been featured in scream so that's me that'll be another little trivia uh for us to jot down in the future if he is in scream six but we'll see who plays tara's dad and if he's involved in this movie in any capacity as the casting announcement starts to roll in before it films this summer but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video